Now, a year ago, Hearts won their first four championship matches en route to winning the title. This season, they'd already won their first three matches in the Premiership and topped the table. Would history repeat itself? The fans travelled north in expectation. 3 0 Hearts. We'll start the season well and I hope we can maintain the momentum. We've got that well, three wins out of three, and hopefully we can make it four out of four today. The Ross County manager Jim McIntyre sticks by the same side that drew with St Johnston in midweek. That sees Liam Boyce and Craig Curran leading the attack. Two changes for Hearts. Jimmy Walker returns to the midfield while Juanma is restored up front. Gavin Riley and Billy King drop to the bench. Four points out of six in the last two matches for Ross County. Now here's Curran. And towards Gardine. Michael Gardine with the effort and a fine save there by Neil Alexander to prevent the home side going in front. Gomez intercepted by Jackson Irvin. Here's Liam Boyce. Always willing to have a shot. Neil Alexander right behind that one. Good positive start from the home side. Osman so has gone beyond Foster, who's fast as well. Still so. Great strike. And Hearts break the deadlock. Osman so with a lovely bit of powerful running and a good strike too. In off the post. Scott Fox couldn't get close to it. Walker with the corner. Well, there's Patterson, and it's 2 0. It's Alan Ostuck with a neat flick. He's normally more renowned for striking from distance, but he's lethal there from two yards. It was a well worked free kick by Hearts. County desperate to get back in this game. Here's Gardine. Michael Gardine. And Alexander having to keep his eye on that one. Certainly positive stuff from Gardine. Devita's free kick. There's Jackson Urban at the back post. But Bobby Madden says penalty. And it's a yellow card for Igor Rossi. The Brazilian defender fouling. Chris Robertson on the six yard line. That's why it's a penalty. Saves the blushes of Jackson Irvin at the back post. It's Liam Boyce with the penalty. It's 2 1. Fine strike by the man from Northern Ireland. Alexander went the wrong way. There's Jordan McGee. Records header, breaks away of Walker. Walker again, fine wing play. There's Riley. He really should have burst the net with that effort. No wonder he put his hands up to his head. Gardine's free kick. Breaks away towards Fraser. There's boys. What an acrobatic effort that was. This boys looks to get his side back level. Gomez. Robertson backtracking under pressure from Juan Ma. Spanish striker still has it. Goalkeeper's off his line. It's Juan Ma. He just didn't get his angles right with that effort. Goalkeeper was drawn way out of his area. Record. Looking for Boyce. His bounce beyond Gardine. And Neil Alexander, happy to see that one bounce wide of the post. I thought at 2-0 we were really in command. Um, we were hoping to go and score. 
possibly scoring more than them they get the penalty decision against us and it totally changes the dynamic of the game. You know, they then get they get a an impetus to try and go and score a second goal to try and get back in it and we ended up having to camp in and try and hit the counter. But you know, we can do that as well. Credit to them, we get back in the game, we you know, the penalty incident, which is a penalty, I've watched it, you know, he's definitely got the arms round him and hold him to the deck. So uh, whether that's uh, a clear goal scoring opportunity or not and a red card then I don't know how this rule works anymore Fantastic start to the season for Hearts Four wins out of four Top of the table Must be great to be a jambo right now Michael Stewart Will Hearts finish in the top three? <laughs> um, now you've thrown that curveball <laughs> Yes I think they will um, hey. But it's not just great for you know for Hearts supporters at the moment It's been like that since the new owners came in Since the new management uh, team came in it's been a upward trajectory all the way there will be you know uh, a few troughs as well this season there's no doubt about that but at the moment everything's going fantastically well for the club absolutely pat could it have been a different game as jim mcintyre suggested there if igor rossi gets sent off in the 39th minute for denying an obvious goal scoring opportunity or did the referee get it right i think the referee did really well to see it actually in the first place when you see it here he's got his arm around his shoulder he kind of hauls him to the ground uh, referees don't normally give these things and no. I'm delighted to see a referee actually give a penalty because there's too many defenders holding and stopping uh, attackers, strikers, whoever uh, getting the opportunity and I think he, he did well seeing it. I don't think it was a sending off. Is I it think not it, an obvious goal scoring opportunity? No. No? no. I don't think so. No, I, I think the defender's obviously in against him and he's holding him. Um, it's not one where you're running through on goal and you, and you slide somebody down. Yeah. I think a booking, a penalty, they got the goal from it. Um, and he could have just nodded it in well. though. No, he couldn't because I think you see there, Ross is so tight to him that even if he doesn't foul him, he's still making it difficult for the uh, Ross County player to score. So it's not a clear goal scoring opportunity. Uh, you know, as Pat's saying there, the difference with one where a guy's running through mm -hmm. and he gets wiped out, there's a big difference. He's there, he's tight. Mm. Yes, it's a penalty, yellow card, I think. Uh, the referee's done well there. Indeed, we're at week three now, time for the table to make a respectable appearance on the sports scene screens and it makes for very happy viewing indeed if you are of a heart's persuasion. Robbie Nielsen side, the early pace setters, Celtic just behind Aberdeen with a game in hand, also with a 100% record. And in the championship, Rangers share top spot with Queen of the South and Dumbarton, all three with 100% records thus far. Alawa, Livingston and St Mirren still looking for their first points, but there is a long, long way to go. Ten years ago, Hearts were romping away at the top of the table, then they sacked their manager. Pretty sure that's not going to happen this time from all of us on the team. Good night. Hearts will enter administration within the next 24 hours. Hearts have been relegated from the Premiership. And Budge has completed our £2.5 million pound deal to take Hearts out of administration. Hearts are threatening. Osmond Shaw! Sensational finish at Ibrox. It's Nicholson! And it's Holt! It's wonderful from Jason Holt! They have won the Scottish Championship by a country mile. Great strike. Brilliant from Wanma! And Sam Nicholson scores!